So today I'm talking about a P0966 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0966 code? Well, it's a pressure control solenoid B control circuit low. And so what does this mean? Well, basically transmissions have a lot of solenoids built into them. They could have multiple shift solenoids. And also they have these pressure control solenoids. But when you get this P0966 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these solenoids, mainly this pressure control solenoid B. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0966 code? Well, the first thing to go and do, if possible, is go and check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's good, that it's not low or anything like this. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, it is a good idea to go and check it and be sure that it's good, that it doesn't look real dirty or anything like this. This code is pointing more towards a circuit issue, but it's always a good idea to go and check the transmission fluid and be sure that's good, if possible. The next thing that could cause this is a bad pressure control solenoid B. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. If you do go to work on your transmission, you want to get a wiring diagram along with schematics for that transmission to find out where that sensor is located and what's going on with that transmission. You can't look up what the rated ohms are supposed to be for that sensor. Since these sensors all have different rated ohms that they're supposed to be at, you use a multimeter, you set it to ohms, and then you check to see if it falls inside that range. And if it does, that usually means it's good. You can also check the voltage going to it and check to see if there is voltage there, usually 12 volts. But again, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle because the next thing that's going to cause is that there's some kind of wiring issue going to it that's causing some kind of problem. If you're not getting no voltage to that solenoid, and there might be like an open or a short or something like that inside the wires going back to the computer. Be sure to check for any blown fuses or anything like that, especially if you're not getting no power down to it. But if you have a multimeter, you can go and test that solenoid and be sure it's good. And you can also test the wiring going to it and check to see if that's good. The next thing that could cause this is that the transmission's having some kind of issue. If there's like a problem with the valve body or a block passage or some kind of issue with the pump or something like that, then that can cause problems. If that does happen, usually you begin a lot of other codes. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of other issue going on with the transmission and that's stopping that solenoid from working. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this could be a bad transmission control module or a bad powertrain control module. Again, usually when these computers go bad, it won't just give you one code. You'll be getting all kinds of transmission codes or something like that. If you do think you have an issue with the computer, be sure that the battery is good. You can even check the alternator output and be sure that's good. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or that can throw them off and just cause them to have issues. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0966 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.